Meanwhile, Governor Ifani Ugwani of Enugu State has appealed to the people of the state to remain calm as normalcy has returned to the state over the clash between security agencies and the group. Ugwani made the appeal when he visited the scene of the clash between the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB members and some security agencies at MNA in the state on Sunday. The governor urged residents of the area to go about their normal businesses. Meanwhile, police command in Enugu confirms that four persons are feared dead during the clash. And the commissioner of police in the state, Ahmad Abdurrahman, said it arrested five IPOB members involved in the clash. He also noted that the police was able to rescue one of the DSS officials in a building where he was held hostage. According to him, four persons lost their lives, two were hacked to death with machetes, and one passerby set of these. One of the arrested IPOB members, uh, identified as Ibwe Agu, told journalists that they were having a martial arts training for self-defense when they were accosted. Agu said that they were not armed as claimed by the police. On this matter, we are joined by Michael Ilediagu, uh, who is a reporter with Dream FM in Enugu, to make sense of this conversation. Thank you, Michael, for joining us. Thank you. All right, I mean... Yeah, you are on ground, you're in Enugu, and you know how the things have gone yesterday, if I put it in that way. One headline reads, many feared dead, whilst another reads, two feared dead. From your vantage point as a witness, which is nearer to the truth, if you like? Okay, well, if I hear you clear, please, can I hear you clear? Yes, please. I'm saying we are having conflicting figures in terms of, you know, uh, those who got affected in this clash. Some say four, some say two. We, we are not able to establish which it is. From your own vantage point as a witness or someone who's on ground, which is nearer to the truth? Help us understand what unfolded yesterday. Okay, personally, if you say that many people were affected or killed or they have been killed. Uh, I think you saw how there are two compared to saying two, three. The reason is, personally, I was at the stage when this happened. I was there on a different assignment, and everything was confused. And I can see all the different people who had serious degrees of communication. So, but I'm not a doctor. I will not say that all of them are either dead mm -hmm. or killed. That means the doctor has to confirm it. Right. My but okay. I've not seen this thing that more than four mm -hmm. people they are not killed at all. Michael, I'm struggling with your connection there, but if you can hear me, and hopefully uh, your response will be better. You said you were there filing a report. What led to this apparent clash? What, because, you know, we are not also certain or clear. Some say uh, they were there for a martial arts um, uh, classes or training. I mean, there are conflicting uh, reports, but from, from your own point of view, as someone who was there, what, what do we know? Okay, I was able to discuss with a number of people on ground, uh, eyewitness, even people that I got injured. I was able to speak to one of them. But what happened was IPOB had a location where they usually have their monthly meetings. So at the process, an eyewitness said, Somebody in their midst and started recording them with the phone. Then they now elevated and went after the person and started questioning him. Mm. At the process, police now got involved and that will be people resisted to be dispersed when police want to disperse them and other security agencies now got involved mm -hmm. in the army, the air force. But when you marry this thing with the police account, you now see the, uh, a better picture where the police is saying that DSS officials 
when uncovered operation that is undercover operation at the process they were abducted or kept in hostage by POD guys. So somehow there is a similarity between the accounts of the people and what the police are saying. Mm. Right. I, I, I wish we had more time to talk more on this case because even as you know, IPOB is proscribed as a group that shouldn't actually gather. But unfortunately, we have to leave it there. I will hope to get you again for further conversation as this unfolds. Thank you so very much, Michael. And do keep safe also out there. Thank you. All right. Thank you.